Hello and welcome to another episode of the Veterans Corner. This episode here is a special episode. Uh, it's our 300th episode uh, for the Veterans Corner. And we've got some faces on this show that uh, you're going to be very happy to meet. Uh, they are the ones that bring to you this show each and every time we tape. So uh, Donna, uh, hey, co-host... I'm Chuck Wooden. Forgot to introduce that That's like we usually do. Okay. I went right to the special 300 episode. Now we're excited. Uh, you know, th this this is uh, since 2013. Mm -hmm. That's when I started this. Yeah. Uh, and you know, the we've had a number a number of, uh, of volunteers as we all are uh, over the years. Uh, I, I thought about trying to remember. You can't remember who they all are. There's been so I, I'm not. I'm just going to mention the present because otherwise I'll offend somebody by missing them. Yeah. Uh, because there's been that many. Um, this show was designed. The mission statement. Actually, well, there's two. There's two individuals uh, that I want to introduce. Um, actually, I'm going to do that after we introduce everybody up here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Thanks for looking out. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> uh, we we got Katrina Zigwolf. Hello, Kat. Uh, you 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 have seen her before. She fills in for Donna. Does a fantastic job as co-host. Thank you. Uh, she's been with us for a number of years. A couple of years, yeah. uh, going on three. Yeah. yeah. Scott Thibodeau. Uh, Scott is back in the. Well, you've been here for a few years. Also, you were always on the cameras. Now you're in the control room. Right. Uh, and Heather, Heather McLean is our director. Uh, although this evening uh, we have somebody from uh, from the past who's in Last the control from the room. Past. Yeah. Last from the past, Elizabeth Crawford. Uh, you're going to get a chance to meet her uh, toward the end of the show. Uh, we it's an honor to have her back. Uh, you know, for this 300th episode. Yay! So, and with that being said, we had the current Nutmeg Productions crew uh, staff is Rich Contrastano and Madeline Guzman. Uh, they work with us, uh, they guide us whenever there's some issues, you know, here in the studio, during the shows, uh, they're always there. So. They keep you on the straight and uh, narrow. I, I, I always like to give uh, credit where credit's due, and those two are, are you know, invaluable for us. Uh, so Thank you. The mission statement for the Veterans Corner, when it first started, we won't get into how it started, uh, but it was back in 2013, and it, it was... It was a vehicle to get the word out for every organization, foundation, individual that provided a service to the veteran community. There are so many. Um, and that's, uh, and, and no one knows who they are for the most part. I mean, there's so many. We've run through so many here that we, we, we never heard of before oh, uh, yeah. on the show. So this show was designed to give them exposure so it helped them in, in their quest to help the veteran community, and it also helped uh, the veteran community, you know, yeah. letting them know the resources that are out there. So that's, that's, uh, uh, that's the mission statement for this show, and, it, and we, we, we've had a heck of a time over well, all these years and the 300 episodes. So who was your first guest? First guest was House of Heroes. Who was your second guest? I can't remember. There's been so was it, it was, was uh, uh, uh oh I'm in, it was uh, me. I'm in trouble. It was me. I'm, I'm in trouble me. with the uh, Ar the Army Strong Community Center. Yeah. So before we became the nonprofit, yeah, that was uh, uh, we were in that corner. We yeah, were in that, that corner. We had that table. little round table. That round table. Uh, round table is still here in the studio. It's over there in the corner. And I would sit there and swing in my seat. Yeah. And people in the control room would say, yeah. "Stop it." Well, we back then we didn't have the earpiece. No. You know, there was no communication. No. Uh, there, was, there was cards that just let us know how much time was left. Uh, we yeah, someone would be behind the camera just holding yeah. up cards, and it would have the countdown in it. Yeah. Uh, my first show, uh, never, ever, I've never haven't done this before. 
uh, pretty much refusing to have gotten in front of the cameras before that with some other shows I was asked to be on. I said, no. Uh, and then all of a sudden found myself, uh, it was funny, they said I was a natural for her up. We had, we, 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 we had, we, we, we had the, uh, the chairs yeah. with the arms. Yeah. And it looked, and they, I mean, once again, no communication, not like we have now. They, they, they said it looked like I was getting ready to rip the, the arms off the chair. <laughs> You're gripping them uh, so tight. You know, it, it's, uh, we've come a long way since then. Uh, you know, I, I mean, it, it, it's been a mission that we, we've held true. Uh, uh, it's certainly not a political show. No. We, we've nope. never allowed that. Um, this is strictly for our veteran community, uh, the veterans, their families. Uh, and it, it, it's been an absolute honor for all of us to, to, uh, to uh, you know, to bring this show to you. Mm -hmm. uh, I found out that we have some uh, letters from past guests. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm yeah. going to start real fast. Uh, one thing that we, what would I say? Uh, Your co-host. The co-host. The co-host, uh, Monique. Monique. Right around episode 100, I thought it was a great idea to bring the male-female dynamic and, yeah. and you know, co-hosts. Uh, and we've been doing it ever since. I, actually, I don't think we've missed a show w without a co-host. No. Um, no. Monique uh, Melanson Hunter, her and her husband moved down to Florida. Uh, I do have a letter from her. Uh, I'm going to read real fast. Uh, Donna jumped in as the uh, as a full time co host. We we got uh, Kat here, who's 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 been jumping in now. Uh, sure. Fantastic job. Bef before Kat, uh, there was Megan Dooley. Megan Megan went on to the radio community up in upstate New York. Bigger uh, and better things. Yeah. Well, well she, 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 she came. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't know if it's better. better. She came from the, the, of the radio community. Yeah. She was on Weeby 108 down in Bridgeport, uh, up in the Cats, uh, uh, Berkshires, I should say, uh, when she first started her, her radio career. But uh, And Jerry Wright, believe it or not, Jerry Wright was, jumped in and he helped out for maybe three or four episodes. He was the one that uh, we, we had on all the time for Agent Orange. Yeah, I was scrolling through the Facebook page to see some of the past guests, and I saw Jerry's like, I didn't realize Jerry co-hosted ah. with you yeah, until did. I saw the pictures. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna read a, a, a quick uh, letter from uh, Monique, uh, and then can jump into the letters from our other guests. Sending in my congratulations and thanks to you, Chuck, and your amazing crew on its 300th episode of the Veterans Corner. It was such a pleasure and honor to be part of the show. The guests we have had over these past years have left an indelible mark on my heart. Uh, there is two, there, there is 300 more episodes. Here is two 300 more episodes of caring for our veterans and their families. Monique Melanson Hunter, former co-host, uh, oh, former nice. ex TV wife, as we we, we, yeah. we, we referred to ourselves. <laughs> uh, but with that being said. Yeah, we've got, Kat and I took it upon ourselves to reach out to some past guests. Yeah. And I, that's why I went through the Facebook page to find some older past guests. Um, and not by age, so no one take offense. Um, <clears throat> so it's been a pleasure to be a guest on the Veterans Corner several times over the years, addressing issues of PTSD, moral injury, suicide prevention, and post-traumatic growth. Chuck is a tireless advocate for vets and their families. The Veterans Corner affirms veterans' courage and sacrifice. It also casts a spotlight on the battle after the battle, the ongoing high price of service. Thank you, Chuck, for helping vets, for educating the public, and for celebrating the fact that there can be healing and hope. 300 episodes. Thank you again and well done. That's from Dr. Jeannie Folks. Jeannie. Yep, so I reached out to her. You want, you want to oh, go, go back and forth? Or, or, right. um, the Veterans Corner is a godsend for veterans and veteran service organizations alike. An invaluable resource to enlighten and connect those who need assistance with those who provide it. Chuck Wooden is one of a kind, a committed veteran and a generous host whose dedication to his fellow vets is to be applauded and whose work has made a difference in the lives of many. Congratulations, Chuck and Veterans Corner, 
on your 300th episode milestone. What a remarkable achievement. And that's from Dennis Buden with House of Heroes, Connecticut. We just had Dennis on. Yeah, mm -hmm. Dennis. Um, this one is says, congrats on show 300. It's amazing to know that the Veterans Corner has shared the stories of so many veteran service organizations in Connecticut. It has been an honor to be a guest on the Veterans Corner. The show has provided the dames to share what we do to help our veterans and their families. Thank you for all the laughs, the fun, and connecting with folks who love the veteran community like the dames do. And that's from Sarah Mitchell with Dames for Soldiers. And then the last one I have is Veterans Corner is a true asset to veterans and non-veterans across the state. It provides veterans with a wide variety of resources and groups to engage with. For non-veterans, it shows how they can better support our military heroes and get involved to make a difference. And that's from um, Amy Wernicke from Veteran Strong Community wow. Center. Wow. All right. And Kat's got her own. I have a couple here, a few, I don't know, five. So I have uh, Ryan Landry. We had him from Everlasting Veterans. He's yes. the one with the dogs. Yep, I remember. He says they've been able to provide nine service dogs to veterans and first responders uh, with uh, the assistance from Rock and Frenchies and Meadow Ridge Wimes and Danes, not to be confused with dames. So these are big dogs, not the fabulous ladies. Thanks to their sponsors, podcasts, clothing sales, and being able to get the word out on Veterans Corner. And then we have Willow Clausen. She is the CEO of Pinups for Warriors. And she says, congrats to Veterans Corner on your 300th episode. Such a milestone achievement, and I'm glad we could be a part of it. And the rest I have on the phone. So we had from Thor Torgerson of Veterans Equine Therapeutic Services. And he said, your unwavering dedication and hard work week after week have brought quality information and engaging programming to our veteran community in Connecticut. Congratulations on your 300th episode. Your commitment to serving our veterans is truly commendable, and we are honored to celebrate this remarkable achievement with you. Here's to your con continued success and many more episodes that inspire, inform, and uplift our veteran community. Keep up the fantastic work. With best wishes from... Thor. Then we have Nico, Nick the Greek. Yes. The Greek freak. Finally got him onto the show. So he says, Congrats to, for your 300th episode, serving the veteran community of Connecticut with their passionate drive to provide us with such invaluable information. He was able to get on there. He's a board member on also on the Veterans Equine Therapeutic Services. Thank you very much for having me as a guest on your show. It was truly a humbling experience, and I'm very grateful. And then last but not least, Eric Schessel, whom we've had many times on here. Many he's times. from the uh, Irreverent Warriors and just a, just a stand-up guy, but he's usually walking. So <laughs> he's got a big paddle for motivation. So he says, just wanted to say congratulations on your 300th episode. We appreciate the opportunity to share the mission of the Irreverent Warriors on your program. It's always a humbling and rewarding experience for us to be able to share what our organization is doing in the community. On behalf of Warriors Connecticut, we wish you all the best and thank you again for allowing us to be a part of this great platform you've provided. So thank you all for sending those in last minute. We appreciate you showing up and sharing what you offer with the rest of our veteran community and getting linked in pretty quickly. It's a nice surprise. It's a testament to you, Ready? Chuck. Yeah. Cheers yeah. to Chuck. Cheers well. to Chuck. <laughs> <clears throat> You know what? Yeah. It's, it's cheers to all of us. Uh, because without you guys. Without the drinker, it doesn't work. Yeah. It's just water. Yeah, it's just water. It's... We'd be a lot loopier if it were vodka. <laughs> Believe me, we've been talking about it all night. You know, we're sitting here, we're, we're, we're looking at the mugs. Oh, yeah. I brought. So I have the full collection of mugs. This, three the one in front of Cat. Three generations. Is the first incarnation. Yep. And then Scott and. Um, Heather. Heather have the <laughs> second one, <laughs> and then Chuck and I have the the most current latest one. iteration. Gen, Gen oh, four. The current one. Oh, oh, it's oh. oh, I guess it's yeah, yeah, a little bit That's of right. Eight. Who done it? On the back. Well, on, on the back side. Uh, oh, this one, yeah, we can post two fifty four. That one's got uh, 
the sponsor. Thankfully for uh, for the uh, the VFW, VFW in Hartford, uh, 254 Post. Uh, they were gracious enough to donate uh, uh, a decent amount of money. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, w I won't say the amount, but uh, uh, it was uh, it was definitely helpful. Yeah. Uh, we wouldn't have these mugs, uh, you know, without donations like that. And oh, that, that just about paid for all of it. Um, you know, it, it, it was always, when we started this show, uh, uh, those of us, well, I say we. Yeah, I know. Uh, when I started this show back in 2013, didn't go to school. I, I, I was watching all the legitimate talk shows, you know, like Jerry Springer. and mm -hmm. No, only kidding, obviously. Uh, watching all the legitimate <laughs> talk shows. <laughs> And, and and just you know getting you know pointers on how to do this. Uh, I mean you know you, you, you from Jerry. You, you, well, <laughs> I said that was a joke. That was a joke. Uh, but you know one of the things I mean if, if you see on most of the talk shows, legitimate ones, uh, there's they they got coffee mugs on it, mm -hmm. and I thought that'd be a heck of an idea for the veterans corner. It just makes it stand out a little bit. Um, you know, the first generation in front of Cat. I mean, that's st you know, the, the, the letters are a little bit bigger. Uh, that's my favorite. Yeah, I just I like, like the shape one. of yeah. it. Mine, mine too. The, uh, it's good well, for mixing. Well, if, 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 there, if there is to be a fourth generation, we'll go back to those. Mm -hmm. um, Bloody Mary. You know, it, it, it was, it's just, we're all volunteers. And it was nice to, and everybody that shows up here, you know, it's just a little souvenir. Well, so as everyone, he said on the last show, I think his term was best was said is the budget is empty pockets is where we start. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, there's somebody that's been on the show for, oh God, uh, he was on probably Navy veteran from the Essex area. Uh, we'll mention names, but I mean, it, he, 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 he was on the show probably about eight, eight years ago, maybe. Um, it was the first generation mugs, and every now and then on Facebook, he'll be out on his front porch having a coffee, and, and, that, mug. <laughs> and that that the picture of the mug. Nice. Uh, I said, "Geez, you know that that looks familiar." Uh, so I mean, it, it's you know this show has touched a lot of people. Uh, we have somebody that wants to come on his ba return back on his show, uh, Bob Brill. Bob is from mid-state New York, upstate, four hours away. And he he wants to come back on. Uh, Let's do the, the race car thing for no. a bit? Oh. Oh, no. No, that was Damon. No. Oh, that was Damon. Okay. Uh, he, uh, he was here, uh, he was a friend of Jerry's. Okay. But, but I mean, I mean, this show is not just seen in Connecticut. It, it's seen, uh, uh, you know, because of YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, this show is seen... Uh, statewide in Connecticut, it's one of the only public access stations that is seen statewide on Frontier. So, I mean, there's a lot of uh, exposure for this show. Um, you know, and, and and just like I opened up and said, that, you know, without the ones in the middle here, um, you wouldn't have this show. I mean, we, we can get out here and do this, but, I mean... Who would be running the control center, the cameras, and everything else? And putting all the graphics Put, up yeah, and making mm -hmm. it look yeah. and, and, you know, good. Yeah, making it look good on TV. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and I always put that on Facebook that the, the, the crew is invaluable. Um, and, and it's great that we can have you here and, you know, let the, let the, let the viewers see. See who puts the show on. And the fact that they'll post it up to YouTube within a week or two, yeah. give or take. Yeah. And that way... You can always find it. So if you go to the Nutmeg TV website, then you or Facebook page, we'll yeah. also find it. And then you go to Veterans Corner TV, you'll find all of our episodes in order. Yeah. And you can look at the pictures if you can't remember what number you were in. I, I usually yeah. punch in YouTube or, or, or the Veterans Corner at Nutmeg, and that usually brings it up on YouTube. You could, when you find it, just subscribe to it, and That's then it. when new episodes are uploaded, you get an yeah. alert. So I mean we. We we we've we've had a lot of a uh, lot, lot of great times. Uh, we've had a lot of fun. Um, you know, let's let, let's jump in. You know, th there was when we first started. 
we had to have all three cameras manned. Mm -hmm. There was a few other spots in the control room that had to be. Yeah, <laughs> and th there was, we were one of the few, if not the only show here at Nutmeg that had our own crew of like eight people. Yeah. Uh, and now it's, it, we're down, these were all remote controlled. Um, you know, it, it's, it's down to us. And they upgraded the equipment, they yeah. put us out of a job, yeah. 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 <laughs> but, I mean, it's, you know, the technology is, uh, is getting better. And, well, it I allowed mean, me to be in front of the camera, so yeah. when, when things sure. happen, life happens, sure, the, jump the, in. The old uh, NBA finals desk from ESPN. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, for a while there, we we had the uh, the Channel Three desk, yes, uh, news desk. Yep. Uh, when, when you sit behind that desk and just think of the news that came across uh -huh. that desk, epic. Uh, <laughs> it's like you know, whoa. Uh, and this obviously, uh, if you're a sports fan, NBA. Yeah. I mean, Bill Russell used to. What I was told, Bill Russell used to sit here. That's so, crazy. I mean, that's you know, a, lot, a lot of history. Mm -hmm. A lot of history. Now. Scott and Heather, um, what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, put them on the spot. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you know, it, just briefly, just briefly, okay. you know. And, and Kat, I, you're, you're this, you're this, you're not new to this. Uh, we'll but, start with them, and then yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what, what has the involvement meant for you, uh, Scott? What, what, what has it meant to, you know, be part of the Veterans Corner? Oh, it's been a great opportunity um, to help you fulfill the mission. Yeah. Of that and and coming from the military community myself yeah. you know you just, Navy veteran you can't you can't produce something like this yeah. even if you have a great idea by yeah. yourself you need a team yes absolutely a team, a village if you will and so I was really happy that that I was able to, to join this to join this group yeah. it's been great I made some great friends here as well uh, and and helped you get the message out to these organizations or about these organizations that you've um, had on the show so many times and for me as a veteran I've also gained something positive out of yeah. it as well because there's so many organizations I didn't even know existed yeah you know and so that just means hey if I'm getting something out of this you know that it's helping yeah. others as well yeah. so it's been it's been great all the way around Heather me okay so for me it was a no-brainer because we discussed this right after my father passed away yeah. you told me about what you did and he was a Vietnam veteran, Navy CB, and you told me, hey, I have this show. I said, absolutely, I want to help. And yeah. it's been four years now. So I know he's ooh, proud of me. I yes. just hit my microphone. <laughs> we um, do it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm usually getting yelled at by you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yell at you now because I'm yeah, sitting right know, next I, to you. I, I, I have I to be nice. <laughs> But it was it was a no brainer for yeah. me. I will do whatever I can to support the veterans, um, and this is my way of helping. Plus, yeah. I enjoy it. Yeah. I really enjoy That's it, great. and I've learned so much from all of our guests that come on the show. Yeah. They're just amazing, and I mean, you can't go wrong when you have like a hundred twenty pound Great Dane who's four months yeah. old just flapping all over you. So yeah, it's uh, been we, a fun we, time. we usually have to go to the other set over there yeah. and. And there, there's really not enough room for the, our feet, and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, I mean, the paws were bigger than my hand. Yeah. For a baby. It's like a pony. Yeah. 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 Right? We, we, we had a Rottweiler on that, on that, on that set over there. That's the Frenchie. The Frenchie that was here, too, Yes, right? we had the Frenchie. The yeah. Sleeping the whole time. The whole time. I had him yeah, in my arms for the whole right. episode. He was like, That's <laughs> right. was doing what that Frenchies was, was do. Was that Everlasting? Uh, I believe so, yes. Yeah, that was. Yes, Ryan's group. Cat, Army veteran. Yes, nine years, nine days. Um, so I did electronics. I started we, as we, a... We, we actually, we've only got a minute left. Okay, so, so I would say the uh, most memorable time was when you asked me if I could fill in on last minute notice. I was already in town, didn't have my station shirt. I remember and this. so Scott had his, so <laughs> Scott literally gave me the shirt off his back so we could do an episode and he wore my shirt for the production. <laughs> the, the Veterans so, Corner shirt. That's yeah, it. so that was, that's we had a couple good that. laughs over that. I'm like, that's dedication. <laughs> well, we, we, we want to make sure that uh, the viewers get a chance to see Lizzie. Uh, yeah, she came Lizzie's back, she directed out. this show. Lizzie, come on uh, out. She, she uh, uh, she, she's been a tremendous part of this, this tremendous part I of this crew. I can hear her. Uh, and she's going to come on right now and say hi. And 
Sorry. Just pay no attention to the girl behind the curtain. Yeah, Look over office. there. Yeah. Lizzie. Hi, everybody. Lizzie Crawford. Uh, Elizabeth Crawford. Uh, she, take any she's been uh, a, a fantastic. Uh, uh, wow, we got shirts. Oh my so this was. Look at this. Lizzie. So we got uh, these fabulous shirts. Yeah. Who, who wow. tell us who made these, so that we can throw some credit to them. Oh, yeah, where are they from? Made expertise. 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 In, in, Bristol. in Bristol. Yeah. Yeah, Jeff Morgan. So, Jeff Morgan. I'm glad to see you out here. Yeah. Yes. I'm going back in the room. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. that's pretty much all the time we have, I believe. That's it. Uh, Rich, is that it? Okay. With that being said, uh, thank you. Thank the crew. Uh, Yay. Fantastic Yay. job. Uh, without you, we couldn't have done this. And thank our, the audience. Our faces out here. But uh, without you guys, hundred uh, percent. And we want to thank the viewers for uh, for watching. Uh, stick with us; many more to come. Uh, with that being said, that's it. Good night, and see ya. Maybe on the next three hundred. Who knows? But <laughs> good night from the Veterans Corner. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Sometimes life just happens. Don't worry. Farmington Motorsports will get you back on the road and at a fair price. From towing to tires, emissions to transmissions. Our ASC certified techs do it all. Farmington Motorsports is a family run business. We're in Napa Auto Center and AAA approved. We work on all makes and models from preventative maintenance to major repairs. And every repair is backed by our two year, 24,000 mile nationwide warranty. When life happens to you, don't worry. Farmington Motorsports.